Hello everybody and welcome to Sin City Living. My name is Jason. I'll be bringing you today's episode. Now I've been trying to get away from doing the, uh, the intros but I haven't had a whole lot of success with that so I'm going to have to go back into doing that again but I'm going to try and keep this as short as I possibly can. I apologize for, uh, for how infrequently we've been posting videos the last few weeks. been working a whole bunch of extra shifts and then I went in and had, had uh, eye surgery so I've been recovering from that and still am. But hopefully within the next couple of weeks, we're going to get back to our usual routine of having a, a decent number of videos coming out for you guys, especially all those exclusive videos for our patrons. We're really trying to focus on, on giving you guys some awesome content. So for anybody that is interested in that, just go ahead and check the description of the video down below. And I've had, had quite a few questions, uh, even though we've had this system in place for a little while, quite a few questions on how you can... Uh, how how our fans can tip us or show appreciation to us and you can buy us a cup of coffee. We, uh, we set up uh, a, um, a quote unquote tip jar for that. Uh, again, just check the description of the video down below if you're curious about that. Um, otherwise, you know, hope you guys are enjoying things. Please email us with anything strategies you would like to see, questions you may have, videos you would like to see, if you would like to see us do the true crime stuff again, or or just uh, the mob stories on Vegas, or the history of Vegas, or restaurants, um, anything you might like to see see uh, see from us, please shoot me an email, uh, sincitylivinglv at gmail.com. We'd love shooting this stuff for you guys. Otherwise, we're going to jump right into today's video. Okay, so let's take a look at this under 15 rolls with the dice without a 7, which as we've talked about is just a, a, an okay roll, a good roll, you know, maybe an 8 to 12 minute roll. Now, we're going to do this under a best case scenario for the Iron Cross, which means we're actually going to start backwards. We're going to start with the 12, because the 12 is uh, like, actually, no, I'm sorry. For this one, we're going to start with the 2. When we get to the 16 to 30 rolls, we're going to go to the 12, but um, we'll start with the 2. This is the best case scenario, because it's going to pay double. So. In, in this scenario, we're going to go with double on the 2, triple on the 12. So statistically, both of those are going to come a half a time each in a 15 roll. So we're going to do one time on the 2, zero times on the 12, and we'll make that up on the next, um, the next set. So two rolls twice. That means that the first player, the classic Iron Cross player, is going to make $20. We're going to put that right here. Okay. The... Improper Iron Cross player is also going to make $20. The improper Iron Cross player with the hop is going to make 20 minus 2, so they're going to make $18. And the Expando Cross will get their 20 bucks, but they will then place the 9 and... Uh, Four, because again, we want to do this in uh, uh, best case scenario. So since I know we're going to hit the four before we hit the ten, we'll do it that way. Um, although it's not actually going to matter because the three is going to give them the last one. So that's the two. So the three is going to come statistically one time each, three and eleven. So the standard iron cross player is going to get paid ten dollars one time. The improper iron cross player is going to get paid. Ten dollars one time. The Hopperoo player over there is going to get paid ten dollars minus two. So they're going to pay eight dollars. They're going to make eight dollars. So I'm going to grab seventeen off of here. And the expand out Iron Cross player is then going to go to their ten. Now we move on to the four. So the four. Statistically, the 4 and 10 come one and a half times each. So we're going to do two times for the 4 and one time for the 10. Okay? So as the 4 rolls, the classic Iron Cross player is going to get paid the 4 twice. So they're going to get paid $20. The improper Iron Cross player, same thing. They're going to get paid $20. The improper hopping Iron Cross player is going to get paid $8 twice. So they're going to pay $16. And the Expando Iron Cross player gets paid their $20. Now, since they already have all the numbers, it's kind of a coin flip what they're likely to do. 
since we're going to do a mid press for anything else that hits in the field, we're just going to collect. Because this, this player may go away from the field and start doing a horn bed as well, in which case then they would collect. So we're going to go ahead and collect anything that hits from the field while mid pressing up here. So the four hit how many times? Twice. So they will get paid $18 there. As a mid press, they're going to collect part of it, press up one unit. Now when it hits again, they're going to get paid $27, so they're going to go ahead and press it up that way to a quarter. So that covers the four. Now the five, five and nine statistically going to come two times each. So when the five rolls, standard iron cross player here is going to make 21, but lose 10 there. So they're going to make $11. They're going to make $11 twice. So they make 22 bucks. Improper iron cross player is going to make 14 minus the 10 right there. So they're going to make $4 twice. So they're going to make eight bucks. Improper iron cross player with the hop is going to make 14 minus that 10. So they're going to make $4 twice. So they're going to make $8 as well. I'm going to go ahead and pull 17 off of there and do that. And the expanding iron cross player. So they're going to lose here. They get paid 14 there. Do 15 for one. Press up one unit. Put their field back. That's the first hit. The second hit, they're going to get paid $21. But since they're going to press up to a green, that would leave them $11. Except they need to bring that five or that that field bet back. So they're only going to collect a buck. Collect one whole dollar. So that covers the five. So now we move on to the six. Six and eight statistically three and a half times each. So we're going to, or two and a half times each. So we're going to do three times for the six, two times for the eight. So the six rolls three times. Now the classic iron cross player makes eleven dollars each time. So they make thirty-three dollars. Thirty-three dollars. We're going to grab seventeen out of there to pay them fifty. Plus we're going to take this right here. So they make thirty-three dollars with all those sixes. The improper iron cross player is going to make four dollars each hit because they, they make 14 plus have to bring that back up. So that means they make a total of twelve dollars with those three hits. So we'll go ahead and do that. Improper iron cross player with the hop. They make two dollars per hit. Fourteen minus the two here minus the ten there. So they're going to make two dollars per hit which means they made six bucks off three hits of the six. And the expando iron cross player. So the first hit, first hit, they are going to press it up one unit. And then the second hit, they are going to go to 30. And then the third hit, they throw in their two bucks. Collect the green. However, they also had three times of bringing back their field bet. What did I do it that way so I could get these aces back? Right. So the first time, if you guys, if you notice, the first time they actually slightly lost money. When they got paid fourteen dollars and they pressed it up one unit, that means they only collected eight. Bringing back a ten dollar bet meant they had to throw in two dollars. Right now, the next time around they got paid twenty one, but they were pressing up two units, so they only got paid nine bucks. So again, they had to throw in another dollar to bring the field back up. However, the third time around they made $23, made $13 total bringing the field back up. Now we go to the eight, and as we said, the eight's only going to hit twice. So two times. With our classic iron cross player, that means two times getting paid $11, so they make 22 bucks. Our improper iron cross player is going to make four dollars per hit, so that means they're going to make eight bucks. And that is right here. And our improper iron cross player with the hot bet is going to make two bucks twice, so they're going to make four dollars. And the expando player, so the expando player, we're on the eight, is going to press it one unit. 
bring the field back up. So again, they actually had to throw in a couple of dollars. Once again, press it up. They have to throw in the buck for the $10 to bring their field back up. And that covers the eight. Now we go into the nine. So on the nine, nine is gonna come twice. So the classic iron cross player is gonna make $20 off of that. The improper iron cross player is gonna make $20 off of that. The improper iron cross player with the hop is gonna make $18 off of that. And the expando iron cross player, two hits here, means they make $20 off of the field. And then first hit, press it up one unit. And the second hit, they go up to a green. Now the 10 is gonna come statistically one time during this, which means this player is going to make ten dollars. This player is going to make ten dollars. The expando player is going to make eight dollars. And this player right here, do this couple different couple parts. They're going to make their ten dollars here. And over here, 18, they press it up one unit. And there we go. So that's 15 rolls of the dice without a seven. Classic Iron Cross player is sitting on $157, plus the 61 they have in action, $157. $157 after an eight to 10 minute roll. So that's a pretty good roll. These are the kind of rolls you're gonna see once an hour. Once an hour, once every hour and a half on a, on a uh, on just on one individual table. The improper iron cross player has $108 sitting in front of them. The improper iron cross player with the hop has $86 sitting in their rail. So each person has definitely made back their original buy-in. And the iron cross expanding out and mid-pressing has, let me go ahead and get rid of these ones, has $120 sitting in front of them. And that's just after an okay roll, an okay roll. But what about if you hit a good roll? Because 15 without a seven, again, it's an okay roll, eight to 10 minute roll. It's when you hit 30 rolls without a seven and now you're looking at this is a pretty damn good roll. So let's take a look at that next. Thank you everybody for watching today's video. And as promised, a little bit more detail on things that we are working on. So. Again, we want, to, uh, we want to continue trying to expand the channel. We're really hoping to be, add, to be able to add roulette as soon as possible. And then some video kino, video slots, stuff along those lines. Um, unfortunately, it ate up almost all of our cash, um, paying off all of our bills during the month of January, January while we were down. And uh, now that the holidays have ended, um, YouTube's uh, payouts have dropped significantly. So. Uh, we're kind of treading water here uh, as far as all that goes. Do have a lot of things we want to add, though. Not just those, those things, those, those additional games, and hopefully some carnival games and such, such like that, but the live streams. The biggest problem right now with the live streams is with three jobs combined between the two of us, four if I include the, the 20 to 30 hours a week I'm putting into the YouTube channel. Um, it's very, very difficult for me to have a day and time that I can commit to doing the live stream every single week because we also have our, our very young child to, to take care of. But I'm trying to figure that out. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably going to end up being on, on Monday nights or Tuesday afternoons or possibly both. I intend to do at least one live stream exclusively for our patrons and then another one on the YouTube channel. So possibly both, both days. Um, we also have a few other things that, that we really want to attempt to move forward on. I'm just running into to either time or skill set issues. I do want to eventually have a, a website going for us. Um, I did used to program websites a long, over a decade ago. A lot of things have changed and I just don't have that time. Um, and uh, not a whole lot of knowledge on the current state of, of um, Building websites, hosting site, you know what what sites can host, and and 
uh, how to build up you know the e-commerce stuff so if anybody has any skill sets along those lines and would like to answer some questions uh, or just help us out shoot us an email sincitylivinglv at gmail.com um, also I really hope to be able to start adding some some uh, fairly ex some exclusive stuff from Sin City Living uh, logoed shirts hats I'm looking to get uh, custom dice made even custom custom layouts made although those would be pretty expensive um, but I know zero about e-commerce and drop shipping and uh, anything along those lines. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area, please email me. Uh, I would I would love to ask you some questions and uh, see if uh, see if you can answer answer a few to help me figure out how to get that going. Um, same thing with uh, with designing our logos. You know, I, I I had the logo had some logos designed, very very small logos, unfortunately, not big enough to blow up to put on T-shirts and stuff like that. And again, I know next to nothing. Not next to I know nothing about um, logo design, graphic design, any kind of websites that could that could do it. Um, I I literally know nothing. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area, also please email me, and you're willing to ask, answer some questions, please. Email me and uh, and let me know. I uh, uh, I'll admit I don't even know where to start as far as asking some questions, but I'm sure I'll, I'll ask a few and that'll trigger a few more, so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, there's that, and and uh, of course we do hope to continue to improve our AV setup. But I am an AV moron, so also right there, if you have any skill sets or knowledge in that area please email me and, and are willing to answer some questions, please email me and, uh, and let me know. We would love the help. Uh, otherwise, again, thank you everybody for watching and we're very excited to continue bringing you our videos. Bye now.